Hello, Anselm Griffin here with another YouTube tutorial uh, featuring MATLAB. Today we're going to be looking at surf that speeds up robust features and affine transformations. So I just give the IP credit here. So this came from Steve Edden. So all of this work, just come up here a second. Steve did all of this work and I'll just show much sure that the he had three images here. We had image A with a very long French horn there, straightened out. There's sort of, uh, sorry, that's the medium length horn. That's the short horn. You can just see it there. And then he had the one there. So he got his friend to take the pictures and there'd be a slight um, you know, rotation and um, scale difference with the handheld camera. And if I just speed up to the very end, he, what he did was, what he did was, he worked out the affine transformation and he registered these two images, the second and the third, so that they were in the same spatial reference as the first one here. So that's what he's trying to do. So he worked out the affine transformation between, let's go back there. He worked out the affine transformation between B and A and the affine transformation between C and A. And then he registered the two uh, images to A. So I'm going to do something like that, but just ever so slightly different. And just one other thing that I used here, just to click this link here. If the maths is a little daunting, at the end of this page here, uh, this is the MathWork site, but how to do an affine transformation and how to recover it. Uh, we, we can recover it where it's highlighted there. So you may need to look at that in your own time. So what I did was, Um, I read in the cameraman. There's the cameraman. I scaled it there by 0.95 and I rotated it by plus two degrees. So I just did two of the four for an affine. And there it is there. And you know that the image will get slightly bigger so that you end up with that little black background there. And there wouldn't be quite a one-to-one -one, uh, mapping of the images. Then I did another affine transformation. I had a scale of 1.03 and a rotation of minus three degrees. And there it is there. And then using a tile layout, which is sort of slightly new to me, I showed the three images and just to say here, because there isn't interpolation, because we're not so much in the first one, but in image B and image C, there wouldn't be a one-to-one -one mapping between the pixel location, so you need to interpolate them. And the bilinear is the intermediate step. So there it is in tile, just like that. And we can see here that they're not quite aligned with each other. So I did, made the affine transformation with Steve Evans. The, the affine transformation was just there by, by accident. But the reason why I did it this way is I'm going to recover the affine transformation and compare the two answers. So there's using a show pair. I have the two of them sitting on top of each other. You can see they're a bit out. Uh, there's Steve's Eden's plan, which you can look up. Okay, so geometric from, that aligns B to A and then C to A, and then map B and C to the same spatial reference as A, and then create a composite. So to do the matching, to work out the affine transformation, you need at least uh, four points, but 
you can do it with control points, but today we're doing surf. And there's more on surf there. I assume you know that. Just it's too difficult to explain. So that's just some there. I just detected the ten strongest points of the original. There's the ten strongest of the first affine. And there's the ten strongest of the second affine. Now, if you, if you scroll down here, just looking at the code there with extract features, we're going to show all the points of interest up above. We just showed the 10 strongest. Now, to be honest, the 10 strongest would do, but just to show you them all, there's the 10, all, this, all the points in image B, and there's all the points in image C. Now we want to match them up and how you match them up is using that command there, match features. So we're matching up A and B and then we're going to match up A and C. Then we're going to work out the projective transformation and I showed you the second link. So if you're new to this, you'd need to work out this is the scale by the cos minus the scale by the sine, the scale by the sine and the scale by the cause, and that's the translation in X and the translation in Y. Um, there is the affine transformation just there. And then we work out um, this, the, the rotation and the translation. So if you can remember when we work backwards, the rotation is 1.99. If you remember, it was actually two. I could have worked out a percentage error, but I didn't. And the scale, if you remember before, was 0.95, and we got 0.9526 using the surf method. And then we use IMREF2D to map image B back onto A. We do C the same way. And if you remember, the original data was minus three. We get minus 2.8596. So that'd be a relatively high percentage error. And the scale the last time was 1.03 going forwards and it's 1.0306 coming back. And then I just cropped it out a little bit. You know, I removed 10 pixels all around. And then I make a tiled composite of all three, just like the way Steve did. And you can see, well, visually to the naked eye, they're identical, but we know they're not because we didn't get the exact um, affine back, but we got it fairly close. Okay, so I hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.